Praise, this, praise the Lord on this November 22nd, 2023, a day before Thanksgiving. But we should be, we try to be thankful every day. Thanksgiving every day. Not talking about the history in America of Thanksgiving. But we pray for, help us to remember to reflect on what we're thankful to God for every day. As the song from the musical movie White Christmas. Count your blessings before you sleep. Count your blessings before you sleep. It will help you sleep to reflect on what you're thankful for instead of all the bad things that happen. No matter what your challenges you're facing, I'm not trying to belittle of your current situation, but to be thankful of the little things because God will get you through the challenges we pray for all those who are going through current challenges right now let them know that you they're not alone you are not alone jesus is with you he is emmanuel just lay all your worries and burdens on a cross you are not alone or that song from rebecca st james the battle belongs to the lord the battle is the Lord. Take courage in the fight. All right, the theme is homeless because today is National Housing Day, which is let us work together to help ease the plight of the homeless. Lord, show us how we can help the people around us and our neighbors, especially the needy and the homeless. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we'll read from Romans chapter 14, book of epistles in a New Testament. After the book of Acts, the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, then Romans. Romans chapter 14, unity and community. Now accept the one who was weak in faith, but not for the purpose of disputes about opinions. One person has faith to eat anything, but the weak eats only vegetables. Don't let the one who eats disparage the one who does not eat. And don't let the one who does not eat judge the one who eats. For God has accepted him. Who are you to judge another's servant? Before his own master he stands or falls. Yes, he shall stand. For the Lord is able to make him stand. Amen. Amen. Hey, it reminds me of the movie, The Stand. It's time to make your stand. From Stephen King. It's a good movie. Anyways, I have a link. You can check that out. I made a link. One person esteems one day over another while another judges every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. The one who observes that day does so to the Lord. The one who eats, eats to the Lord, for he gives thanks to God. And the one who abstains, abstains to the Lord. And he gives thanks to God. For no, none of us lives for himself, and none dies for himself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So whatever we live or die, we, are, we belong to the Lord. For this reason, Messiah died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. But you, why do you judge your brother? Or you too, why do you look down on your brother? For we all will stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says Adonai, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each one of us shall give account of himself to God. Therefore let us not judge one another from now on, but rather decide this, not to put a stumbling block or a trap in the way of a brother. I know and and persuaded in the Lord Yeshua that nothing is unholy in itself, but it is unholy for the one who considers it unholy. For if your brother is grieved or on account of food, you are no longer walking according to love. Do not destroy by your food the one for whom Messiah died. Therefore do not let what is good for you be spoken of of as evil for the kingdom of God is not about eating and drinking but unrighteous but righteousness and shalom and joy in the Rosh HaKadosh Kol Ramata Holy Spirit fill us up with your presence 
For the one who serves Messiah in this matter is pleasing to God and approved by men. So then let us pursue what makes for shalom and for the building up of one another. Stop tearing down. <laughs> yep, I got my clothes to sleep. All right, I'm almost done. So then let us pursue that makes for shalom and for the building up of one another. Stop tearing down the work of God for the sake of food. Indeed, all things are clean but wrong for the man who by eating causes stumbling. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything by which your brother stumbles. The faith you have, keep it to yourself before God. How fortunate is the one who does not condemn himself for what he approves, but the one who has doubts and is condemned if he eats because it is not of faith. Whatever is not of faith is sin. Amen. Amen. And that is the verse 23, or the last verse of Romans chapter 14. And that's one of many Bible verses on the theme of homeless. Lord, we pray, Father God, for all the homeless people in our communities and our neighbors or our neighborhoods in our region, state, nation, and world. Father God, we pray that you empower all our brothers and sisters Christ to be a light to them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Show us how we can be a light. Whether it's donating to a ministry, which I'll share a link below, Union Gospel Mission, Twin Cities, or Union Gospel, wherever city you're at, or the, or the many uh, homeless shelters and ministries out there helping the poor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And just the other one, I think it was last Wednesday, it was a nonprofit organization. So that's a challenge for you all there. I'll share a link to many nonprofit organizations you can donate or feel free to share down below on this YouTube video of a nonprofit organization of how of that's helping the homeless in your neighborhood or community. That let us work together. We're all in this together. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have a blessed Thanksgiving every day.